Alright guys, with it being the holiday, I am going to review this United States Championship, the latest United States Championship, uh, about this brand new, when it came out, and if you haven't seen this belt, it is amazing. No, it may not look much, but look how thick these plates are. Everything is 3D. I don't think it's really etched. I heard this was like a new process. where it has some sort of material. And I think it just stacks layer and layer as it kind of like a 3D metal print from what I hear. And that's why you get these really, really 3D like, you know, detail and depth. And even this tiny, tiny detail here. All over, everything's very crisp. I mean, man, look at that C. Like, here's my pinky. I don't know if you can see that. More than half of my pinky nail gets in there. But let's start from the... <clears throat> the left you have a 2 by 6 male snaps up uh, WWE logo 5 stars and you know just a slightly textured back behind the plates now the side plates are really thick too And I believe uh, these have longer screws in the back so you can put your plates on just to, to compensate for how thick these plates are. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this because it's just mostly nickel and gold. And I've seen a lot of mods where they painted this blue, which I feel like I want to do too, but it would take away from this texturing in the back. But if I found that like, a translucent blue, I think it would work really well, where you paint it very thinly and it would show that texture right through it. Now the right plate is a mirror opposite of the left. And the side plate actually has a design for a stone, but there are no stones there. It's very plain. I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, WWE logo is gold, and the globe is all silver or nickel plated. Uh, you have five stars here, separating it from this, which I always refer to this side of the belt being the um, logo plate area, which they don't do anymore. Uh, then you have a 2x5 female snap set and a two-tone belt tip. Uh, the border is nickel. Uh, the surrounding shield is nickel. Everything else is gold, as well as the back. I'm just going to slowly go through the detail again. It being Independence Day.
Now, I still have all my uh, protective plastic on here because I have this belt stored. It's not displayed anywhere. It's just uh, kept in its bag as it was shipped. Uh, when I have more room, I'll probably display it in a good case or a detoff. But for now, I'll just remain as it is. Basically brand new. Other than how the side plates are, I'd say this is really, really spot on to the TV belt or the real belt. Yeah, I'm gonna put this aside. And show you my other United States championship belt. Now this belt kind of has a backstory to it. As you can see, it's not going to be in very good condition because I bought this to save it. I'm going to show some pictures of it soon. Well, I'll cut it in, but. This is my John Cena United States Spinner. Now, when I got this belt, it didn't have any stones on it other than the surrounding stones in this plate and around on all the side plates. And for some reason, the person who was doing this, they flipped it so the uh, pointed side is facing up on all of them. So I kind of did the same for the U.S. part. Looks good to me, so I just left it that way. I don't have to take this all apart and flip them over and risk damaging the stones. So when I got this plate, actually the whole belt, you can see the strap. It's pretty beat up. Um, this was painted blue, like the U, and the S was painted red, I believe. And they messed with the paint here. Like I thought it was, it was original, but it really wasn't. Um, it had some original paint still, but they kind of they kind of messed it up. And this thing didn't even move; it didn't spin. It just scraped on the bottom of the plate. Um, but let me show you the detail of this belt. Here is the female snap box. It's two by five. Here's the logo plate. Now, if you're wondering why this is on this side, it's because I matched it to how it was shown on TV. If you paid attention or looked really close, this is the orientation. It's pretty much backwards. Logo plate was here. Here's the side plate. So uh, for the blue, I used um, 
slightly larger Swarovski crystals, and I think it makes it pop way better. I also did that with the American flag. Uh, now the white stones are the correct size, but I went a little bigger on the blue and red because I think it makes it pop better. And I still need to get six more. Here's that main plate. So when I stripped the, uh, the paint off of the U and the S, I thought, okay, they were hiding a lot of damage. And then when I stripped this one, the nickel plating was gone. It was basically, um, it was red, reddish underneath. It looked terrible. So, um, until I can get this professionally uh, plated, it just has that um, Krylon chrome or silver pen. And actually some of this I put, um, that silver marker I was telling you about, just to test it out. I think I might do that all over until I get it plated. So the side plate, same, but this is more complete. Bigger stones make a difference if you go slightly bigger. But yeah, you can see the tears and everything in there. Here is the male end, eight by two. Now, if I flip it around, you'll see that the whole strap is upside down. That's so I can uh, make it more TV accurate. So I had a hard time getting this to spin, but I was able to make it work. And it spins for a very, very, very long time. Here's a closer look at the plate that I uh, redid. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of a dark blue. I should have went lighter on the paint. So the blue and red, I wanted it to look metallic. So I kind of use that glossy paint WWE uses to do the uh, underscore for their logo. And it looked cool. Instead of painting white, it was all nickel. But um, to make it more TV accurate, I shaved down the trademark logo that was here. And the re-release actually doesn't have it. So there you go. Um, but I used this pearlescent white paint, which kind of reflects, uh, doesn't do any justice in the video, but in person it looks really good. Now it's kind of chunky in places because the paint was hard to put on here because it was kind of thick and it stuck to the brush a lot. But Kind of makes it look more, you know, more like a flag. I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Gives it a little bit more, a little bit more pop than just, you know, the, the flat paint they used. Uh, it's one of my favorite. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I like bringing it out during um, 4th of July just to show it off. 
call it my Independence Day belt, basically. I was glad I was able to save this. As soon as I find somebody or get my own kit, I'm going to try to replate the whole thing and uh, tool, tool strap or maybe buy one from Paul Martin. I'm not sure. You know, got other bills, but yeah, look at that, right? It just keeps on going. Now it went from being stuck and not moving to just freely spinning. I like that. Like the magnet was ready to take it out. Look at that. Who doesn't have fun doing that? Love that thing. But yeah, um, if you look at those comparison shots, man, you probably wouldn't even touch it. So I bought this like maybe five years ago. And it, um, the seller said it was a project of his, and like I said, they only got the outer plate and the outer uh, side plates. Oh, also, he did get some of the stars too, and um, said he didn't have time to fix it. So, yeah, I think I bought it for, I think, 130 yeah, 130. You couldn't really find these anywhere. Took a chance on it, fixed it up. Um, it also came with a WWE spinner commemorative plate or plate belt, and that belt was pretty trash too. So I gave that to a friend. And I was I was glad to get this. And the only one I'm really missing. I guess it would have been uh, the one before the current belt and the uh, the WCW five plate United States belt. That was my other favorite design. Also the NWA United States belt. I have that belt somewhere, but it's a pretty low quality bootleg. Um, when I bring it out, I'll make a video about it show you guys but uh what's your favorite united states title design i like this one it's fun uh the current one is amazing nice thick very detailed um if i had to go classic it'd be between the uh, nwa united states belt the one that lex luger held and the uh, u.s belt scratch logo wwe united states championship belt uh, the one Eddie Guerrero held. Look at that. Sorry. <laughs> it's fun. And now if they made this, I believe this is like accurate size to the real belt. This is slightly smaller. I know, I believe there's like, if you double this border on the outside here, that was the real size. Anyway, yeah. Man, if they released a uh, accurate size WWE spinner belt, I would get that right away. Or if there's a bootlegger out there who could make <laughs> that thing perfect, I'd pick that up. But anyway, guys, if you celebrate Independence Day, do it with family. Do it with people you care about. Be careful with fireworks. Enjoy that barbecue. And happy 4th of July, guys.